Welcome back, folks, and happy 4th of July. It's a day for celebration, though many Americans who hate America are already muscling into the comments to let me know that America is the devil and everyone and everything is racist. Today, though, I'm going to sidestep all the drama and focus on five reasons why I love my country. But before I jump in, I wanted to thank our loyal patron supporters who continue to be the greatest support to our society today. So thanks, guys. Cheers to you studs out there. Much love to you fine folks. Okay, jumping in. Number one of the five reasons why America rocks. One, the United States is the most charitable country of all time. Americans as a whole give more each year than all citizens of the next top 10 of the most generous countries put together. So around $300 billion was given away in 2017 by U.S. citizens supporting charitable causes. Uh, none of this is, as, uh, is factoring in our extremely generous, perhaps too generous, foreign aid and giving. A 2016 report showed we gave away 1.44% of our GDP per capita, and the closest country, New Zealand, way to go, New Zealand, uh, gave around almost half that at 0.79%. Canada came in close at 0.77%, and then all the other countries immediately dropped to half a percent or lower. And remember, the U.S. economy is 104 times the size of New Zealand's and 12 times larger than Canada's. So the percentage of our giving is way higher than any other country. And since we have the largest economy in the world, the numbers are astronomically higher than other countries' charitable giving. Way to go. Uh, second reason I am pumped to be an American is that we enjoy the highest standard of living per capita in the world. The average poor person in the U.S. carries a $1,000 phone in their pocket, has a big screen TV, and struggles to make payments on the car that they probably shouldn't have financed two years ago. And I'm not comparing the world to our homeless folks because per capita, that's far from the average poor person in America. Though, meanwhile, a third of the rest of the world lives on less than $2 per day. Let that sink in. Poor people, poor people around the world struggle simply to have clean drinking water, enough food, shoes on their feet, and a roof over their heads. And while our system has some big problems, for sure, there are very few countries that are prosperous enough to give the aid our government provides for our own poor. Also, to all of you out there who are giving to churches, the poor, the hurting people around the world of all races and beliefs, God bless you. I think you're awesome, and I'm proud to be among you. But moving on, number three. For generations, America has been called the land of opportunity. And it is a sad reality that in most countries around the world, it's nearly impossible to change your stars. In China and in India, the countries with the largest populations in the world, citizens are born into and locked into a caste system or socioeconomic classes. Meanwhile, in America, if you have a dream, a plan, and the will to make something of yourself, you can. Our heritage is one of rags to riches stories. Even if you're born in America with all kinds of disadvantages, you can change your stars. And our history is replete with countless examples of people that had it far worse than you and I, and yet went much farther. America is the land of opportunity. And if you live here and you disagree, then I'd simply ask, why don't you go to the other place for more opportunity? Or do you not really believe that the grass is greener on the other side? America's awesome. Moving right along to number four of why the United States is an awesome country. How about the world would likely be a very different and very tyrannical place had the U.S. not stepped into two different world wars to safeguard freedom. Our heritage has been one of bold and daring. I mean, we began a revolution against the world's most powerful army and our stubborn forefathers with balls of steel clung on by their fingertips while being undermanned, outgunned, undertrained, facing horrific hardship, and yet still won freedom from unjust rule. That grit is woven into the fabric of who we are as Americans, and though our military was not impressive back then and really wouldn't become powerful until the First World War, we can now boast the most powerful military in the world. 
And I'll ask, who keeps countries like North Korea in check and Iran and Russia in check more than any other? The United States of freaking America. That's who. <laughs> Finally, America is the freest nation on earth. This is point number five. I just bought this. Right here. Our operations officer asked me, is that legal? And I gave him a big American grin and I said, why, yes. Yes, it is. In America, in America, we have freedoms that the rest of the world knows nothing about. We are less free than we used to be. I'll definitely give you that. However, even though our freedom is less now than it was before, we're still more free than anywhere else. For instance, I can verbally attack my leaders by saying, Nancy Pelosi is a terrible human and should be removed from office. And I can yell at cops and I can speak my mind without having to worry about disappearing overnight with a black bag over my head. Except maybe Hillary Clinton stuff. Anyway, our great experiment was to keep the individual free by limiting government power. And so our First and Second Amendment uh, are the hard wiring of this commitment, which allows us to speak against our leaders and be armed to the teeth in case the government becomes tyrannical and we would like to replace it. It's not the government, but our government. And this is my country and it's yours. We don't belong to it. It belongs to us. And I'm free. And this 4th of July, despite all the hateful propaganda of anti-Americanism, I am still very proud to be an American. And I just wanted to say that. So for all you who are listening in, both Americans, as this is a special day for us, but all of our brothers in the society from all races, tribes, belief systems around the world, we love you as well. But as you want to be proud of your country, I have things to be proud of my country for too. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Train hard, train smart, and stay free.